What's up everybody, a new episode from Nomad Entrepreneur. Today we are going to talk about what is it like to live in Georgia as a digital nomad. I consider myself a digital nomad. 90% of my business is done online. So I am 90% a digital nomad and today I'm going to talk to you about my experience and also I'm going to tell you is Georgia a good place to live in as a digital nomad? Will Georgia meet your expectation as a digital nomad? I know what you need as a digital nomad because as I said, I consider myself a digital nomad. And in this episode, in this video, I'm going to tell you if Georgia gonna be a good place for you to move on as a digital nomad. We are going to talk about the safety, we are going to talk about the internet connection, we are going to talk about the cost of living and another issues, another stuff. So if you are a digital nomad thinking about moving to Georgia, keep watching this video and see you in a second. Well, for anyone who decides to live abroad, the safety is in the top of the priority of everyone. What is Georgia's position in the International Crime Index? What about my experience? So, let's talk about safety in Georgia. Well, Georgia is ranked among the most safest countries in the world. It's ranked number one in Europe, the safest country ever in Europe, and it's ranked number four among the safest countries in the world. Where did I get this information? Well, you can find the link in the description. So this is the statistic, but if you know me well, you will know that I don't trust the statistic. I'm going to tell you my experience. My experience in Georgia for four years now that Georgia is safe. I live in Tbilisi, I lived for some time in Batumi and I was walking in the street at 4 a.m., 3 a.m. in a very empty areas, very dark areas and it was safe. I never had a problem. I never had someone stopping me, asking me for money or trying to threaten my life with a knife or with a weapon. Here it's totally safe. It doesn't happen here. It never happened with me during the past four years of my life here in Georgia. So the next thing is the cost of living. How much money does it cost to live in Georgia in a month? How much money do you need to live in Georgia a good life in a month? How much does it cost to rent an apartment? How much does it cost to get food every day in a day or in a month? Well, I'm going to tell you my lifestyle and it depends on your lifestyle. I'm going to tell you the cost of living according to my lifestyle. $500 is very enough for me to live in Georgia in my lifestyle. I don't eat too much outside. It's not a lot of time for me to go out to socialize with people. I'm not a social person. So for my lifestyle, 500 is very enough for me. I pay for apartment, the rest is my living cost is for my food, for my transportation, for my bills, for the consumption of electricity, gas, and internet extra. So $500 is enough for a person to live alone in a very nice area in Tbilisi or even in Batumi. These prices now are the same in, in the both cities because Batumi is a summer city because it has a very long cost in the Black Sea. But since we are in a pandemic right now. There are no tourists, so the prices are the same in Tbilisi and Batumi. If it's in a normal time, in a regular time, it's going to be increasing in Batumi. It's going to be more in Batumi, the cost of living in Batumi, because a lot of tourists and everyone is renting its, uh, their properties, and this makes the prices go high for rent. But for now, it's similar in Tbilisi and Patomi, the prices are kind of the same, so 500 is enough for me. I think for you, you might be even less 
than the 500 maybe you don't eat as much as i eat maybe you don't like the food i eat so it depends on your lifestyle and it depends on your routine daily life if you are a social person you you will go a lot to bars or to a social event you might need some more money more than the 500 i told you about myself so it depends on you and if you want more information, if you want to know more about uh, prices, I have recorded a video approximately a year ago. The prices are not, uh, uh, the prices is not very much high now. It's kind of the same. You can watch this video from up there. You will find a lot of information. You will find the prices of everything. I even took a camera inside Carrefour supermarket and I show you in the video the prices, the exact, the exact prices for the products, the, for the food product. So make sure to watch this video up there and for sure don't leave this video until you finish it to the end. So support me and like the, my videos and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You will be enjoying a lot of useful, important information during the videos. Well, the next thing when I think as a digital nomad, what do I need in a country? I think of internet. I need a very good internet connection. For me, it's very essential. It is very important for me to have a high internet connection. And in Georgia, internet connection is very good. And the cost of the internet is very low. It's not expensive. For me, I have a subscription in MACT. MACT, in my opinion, is the best internet provider in Georgia. And Silknet for sure is kinda good, but for me, I prefer to use MACT as an internet provider. The speed is very high, it reach 4.5 G and in the near future the 5 G is going to be applied in Georgia It's going to happen in the next few years internet connection here is very very good for me I am satisfied with it. I am very satisfied with it When I tried the internet connection in Russia, it was not as good as much as here it, When I tried it in Turkey, it was uh, kind of bad when I tried it in Azerbaijan, it wasn't good. And for sure, in the country where I came from, the internet is very, very bad. I came from Egypt, so internet there is a disaster. I hate it. Even my experience with all of the internet provider in the country was so bad. So internet connection here is very high and it's very good. I'm satisfied with it. And in this point, I'm telling you, you will have no problem with internet connection, especially if you choose that company, which I use, Mac. They didn't pay me to say any of this, so it's just my opinion. Comes second in the list is Silknet. And now you might thinking, Hussam, you are talking about the cost of living and the internet connection quality and uh, the safety. But first, you need to tell me, how can I get into this country? Well, I didn't forget about that. So the next point is, what about the visa free in this country? What about the visa free regime in this country? And are you able to stay here as a tourist or you should have a residence permit? coming soon. Well, Georgia has a visa-free regime for over 89 countries. In general, I'm going to tell you, if you are from any of the European Union country, you will have, you can stay in Georgia for a year, for a full year without visa as a tourist. And no questions asked. If you are from the Americans, I mean, if you are from any of the countries in North America, United States or Canada, or even if you are from any country from the South America, Bolivia, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, it's the same. You can stay for a full year, for a continuous year without any need for a visa. You can even, after this year, you can leave the country for a couple of hours to any of the neighbor countries, to Armenia, to Azerbaijan, to Russia, to Turkey, and then come back to Georgia, you will get another year, another continuous year to allow you to stay here. And for sure, for some countries, it's very hard to get into Georgia. Some countries need some visa from the embassy. 
If you are from Pakistan, you need to go to any of the embassy near to Pakistan, any of the Georgian embassies near Pakistan. If you are from China, you need for sure a visa. You can apply for e-visa. If you are Indian, you need to apply for e-visa. And the good thing about this, if you have any residence permit, if you have even any visa, any tourist visa to the United States, to any of the European Union country, if you have a, che a valid Schengen visa, if you have a valid uh, United States visa, tourist visa, if you have a residence permit in any of these countries, you can get into Georgia without visa. You don't need to have a visa to visit Georgia. And there is a governmental website about this. You will find the link in the description. You will also find one of the most important video about Georgia. It's a full travel guide for Georgia. You will find this video up here now. Make sure to watch this video, but not now after you finish this one, because we still have much to talk about for you as a digital nomad. Well, what's next now? The next thing is the banking system. Will you be able to open a bank here as a traveler, as a tourist, or you should have a residence permit? Is it easy to open a bank account or is it hard? What about the banking system? Do they have internet banking? Are they very open or they are closed-minded like, <coughs> like banks in some uh, third world countries? What about the banks in system? What about banking systems in Georgia? Well, this is coming next. See you in a second. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now and make sure to hit the notification bell that when I release any new videos, you get notified. Now, we are going to talk about banks. What about the banking system here? What can you do with banks here? Well, the good news is you can open a bank account in Georgia even if you are just a traveler, if you are a tourist, without any residence permit. You can open the bank account with your passport. And if you are wondering how long will it take, I'm gonna tell you it takes approximately 20 minutes. Yes, I'm not mistaken. You can just go from the airport, you just left your flight, you just arrived to Georgia and you can go from the airport to the first open bank in front of you and tell them, hello, I want to open a bank account and they will do it for you in 20 minutes. So this is in general. They are very open-minded in the banking system. They are not closed mind for, for me. I don't know even if this expression is very good for banks, but I love to use this expressions. So what banks can you open a bank account with? For me, according to my experience, dealing with two banks, one governmental bank of Georgia and the other is a private bank. I love to deal with the private bank, which is TBC. I use TBC and uh, this my active accounts on TBC, my, I have some accounts on Bank of Georgia but I don't use them. So I choose and I recommend for you to use TBC to open your bank account in TBC bank. And for sure they didn't pay me any money, they didn't do any deal with me to say that in this video. I just recommend to you according to my own experience. This is my opinion. I like TBC Bank more than Bank of Georgia. And now with the last question, what do you think about moving my business in Georgia? I get a lot of questions, I get a lot of emails and messages asking me, Hossam, I want to move my business in Georgia, what can I do? I'm uh, doing uh, e-commerce, I have e-commerce store or I work online, I ha I'm a freelancer and I want to move my life to Georgia, I want to move to Georgia, what can I do? Well, I'm gonna tell you, it depends. It depends on the kind of business you are doing. It depends on the kind of online business or digital business you are doing. I cannot give a general answer for everyone. It will be wrong. I have to do it according to your case. I have to tell anyone according to his case, according to his type of business and according to his capital money because it depends on this. I cannot say a general answer for this. This is why we have nomadentrepreneur.io. If you love to move to Georgia, if you want to move to Georgia and if you need a professional help, this is why we have this company, this consulting firm, nomadentrepreneur.io. So go now and visit nomadentrepreneur.io, click become a client, don't worry, you will not be charged any money yet and 
fill the application, tell me all of the information about you in details, answer the questions in details, and when we receive your application, we are going to process it, we are going to study it very good, and we will reach back to you, we will reach out to you, telling you, Sir, we are ready to help. We have processed your application and we can offer you some help. At this point, you will be asked to schedule a call with me or any of my colleague. And for sure, this step, this step is not for free. You will be charged very, very little amount of money. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode and it was helpful to you, full of useful information and you benefited from it. My aim from this videos is to make it helpful as much as I can. I provide you with honest, free information according to my experience, according to my knowledge. But this is not everything you can get. You can get more of my knowledge, you can get more based on my experience, you can get my professional help according to your case, as I said before, by visiting our website nomadentrepreneur.io and scheduling a call with me or any of my colleagues in the fair and for sure we will be doing our best to help you achieve your goals. If you want to move to Georgia, if you want to start a business here, if you want to buy apartment, if you want to invest in real estate, we have the knowledge and the experience that will help you to reach your goal and to reach a very high ROI return on your investment with us. If you have any question, let me know in the comments. Comment below, ask your question, and try to watch the other videos in this channel before asking any question, because I am sure you are going to find the answer in any of my old previous videos. I am sure of that. Make sure to watch all of these videos, and then if you f didn't find your answer, you can either try to communicate with us through nomadentrepreneur.io or you can just comment below. We will try to answer all of the comments and all of the questions. See you in a new important and useful video coming soon.